Hey guys, it's Shane, and uh, I got a brand new cigar box guitar I just built. Check this out. This thing was made with a shovel handle. Um, and I built this within probably about an hour and a half today. I uh, wanted to come up with a different design. And so I started with a simple Macanudo cigar box. It was nice and thick. Had a nice thick top to it, so I knew I could abuse it a little bit if I was uh, making a prototype like this. And I drilled a hole in here. I put the broomstick through here, put a drywall screw to hold the broomstick here. Oh, and before I put the broomstick in, I took it against my belt sander and I took off uh, area here and an area here. And I, to, to make these, um, tuners go in. I got two tuners coming one way and two tuners going the other way. It's pretty wild. It's got a bolt nut right here and that's just being held on by string tension. And uh, CB Giddy, these guys, cbgiddy.com, had sent me this tailpiece. It is a, it's like a tenor guitar tailpiece and it looks classic. So I needed something to hold the string since the broomstick was going to be butted up against the inside of the box. How are you going to get the strings on here? So I used this CB Giddy Tails piece. And Giddy also makes these, um, the old Stella type of uh, floating bridges. Uh, I think it's called the K floating bridge. K-A-Y. Uh, get that at CB Giddy too. So I had the tail piece and the floating bridge and some Giddy tuners. These are the Shane Spiel signature tuners. And I just put this together. <laughs> I wanted an open A four string cigar box guitar made with a broomstick. Um, well, it's a shovel handle. It's a little thicker than a broomstick. Um, and I started this with a pick. And it sounds sloppy. First of all, I don't have any fret markers on here yet. So I'm just going by feel. But I've really been enjoying... Finger picking is just so nice. It gives you that Piedmont feel to it. It's not as loud. There's no pickup or anything in here yet. This is just a prototype. Um, maybe I'll write a whole article on how to build this. Um, I'm actually waiting to hear back from my editor from Guitar World to see if they'd be interested in having these plans. By the way, the slide I'm using, since it's four strings, instead of using my king slide, which barely covers the four strings, I went with the mother, M-U-T-H-A, the mother slide from stubbyslide.com. Uh, it's nice, heavy mass, but it covers all four strings. Now look, the strings are in a straight plane because you have the flat surface of the bridge and the flat surface surface of the bolt so the strings are nice and straight on that neck even though the neck is rounded and yes there is some high action on there but you're playing slide so you get used to it So this is the prototype and I'm going to keep working on it. I may invent a way of adding a piezo rod pickup to this uh, floating bridge. I'd love to make something that's easy uh, for people to put together. Um, I may do another version with a uh, gold foil pickup or something else in here or a flat pop uh, wicked bucker. But there it is. That's what I've been messing with today, the shovel handle uh, cigar box guitar. 
Uh, maybe I'll write an article about this someday. So, that's what I got. My name's Shane Spiel. Guys, go check out cbgiddy.com. Thanks, Giddy, for sending me these parts. Um, guy, you guys out there always collect guitar parts. I don't care if you buy them or if you get them off of old guitars. Always have a massive stash of guitar parts to uh, go through because you just never know what you're going to build. And this is what I built today. So, my name's Shane Spiel. This uh, is brought to you by Stubby Slide stubbyslide.com there's your little link please make sure you subscribe because i'm going to give you a lot more videos and maybe i'll get into this in depth and here's a few more lessons to check out as well thanks for watching bye bye